Hello everyone, I'm Alistair and welcome to the Infraspace. I don't know much about the game, but I know that it is like a factory game, city builder, something like that. And it has a, it, and it had a great price when I bought it, so that's what I know. And I know that it has very good reviews on Steam, so let's, you know, jump straight into a game with default settings, Desert Valley. Hmm... You know what? I'll go with the defaults for this time. Let's go and try it out. I never played this before. Technology is the pillar on which we have founded our civilization. In the year 2351, scientists created the first warp drive, kicking off a race for the stars. As the population expanded on Earth, the rise of exocolonies allowed humans to take life beyond natural boundaries. But technology, like humans, is fallible. The passenger ship Antares was carrying thousands of colonists when a pressure valve overheated and failed, changing the destination of the warp jump. Light years from home. So we get the stranded on the planet? Stranded. Yep. The crew lacks the materials necessary to repair Antares. But a nearby exoplanet is looking promising. Nepper 3. A planet with plenty of mineral deposits on the surface. In order to survive, they need to establish a settlement here and start mining for resources. It was human ingenuity that got them this far. And to continue on this journey, they will have to rely on it once more. The mission will not be easy. It's their only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you are my only hope. I wasn't expecting a story like this, but I'm surprised. Alright, then here we are on the planet. Following a serious accident in space, the spaceship Antares is in dis disastrous condition. It now orbits Nepa 3, an uninhabited planet. Your goal is to establish a colony and find the resources needed to repair the spaceship, helping the passengers return home. Happy playing! <laughs> oh, right, oh, bright, bright, bright desert. Welcome to the infraspace. Yeah, turn them on. I won't be boring you with the tutorial, so I mostly skip all of this. Oh, here is a crude oil, chemicals, iron ore, sulfur. How everything is conveniently close to each other. <laughs> Interesting. Even aluminium. Alright. Build the road next to a sulfur. Alright, we'll do. Sulfur mine is required. Build a sand mine. Okay, so far easy. And a concrete factory. Down the road, I guess. And of course, we need the power. Hmm, nice. Even the power distribution. Kinda like it. It looks a little bit simplistic, but I think the main focus is on logistics. Uh, not enough power, I guess. No, I need to build a pole here. Yes, okay. It doesn't connect directly to the wind turbine, you need to build those power poles. Look at them teeny tiny trucks! Delivering the stuff to the concrete factory. I don't know why would you need sulfur for concrete, but who am I to, you know, talk about that. I'm not a construction worker, but I made uh, concrete before, but I never used the sulfur, so I have no, no idea why would you use sulfur for that. Whatever, it's in a game, it works, it's making a concrete. Build a small construction material storage. Alrighty do, I think in in front of it should be a good spot, right? They don't need to deliver that too far away. What is it written on it? Technology. Technologies. <laughs> That's all. Technologies. Storehouse. Novatech. Concrete factory. <laughs> And now, build a basic habitat. I think I will build that a little bit further away. 
Can I make like a curves? Build a curved road. Ah, okay, okay. How can I control the curve? Hmm. Have no idea. Okay, I can increase the height. How am I going to... I would like to make a big curve. But it seems it doesn't work that way. What the fuck was that? Why would you do this? Alright. I've seen some screenshots with really nice roads built, but... Now I doubt it. It will be... That easy or... Really... I don't know. Easy to build. Because that road was really acting strange. Okay, atmosphere processor. Extracts oxygen and carbon from the atmosphere. And the spaceport, of course. Alright, spaceport's working now for the research lab. Let's just pop it down here for now. Blue Science Pack Factory. Hmm. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have built it here. You know what? Let's get rid of it. It gave me half of the resources back. Okay, that's fine. And for the science, I will need... That looks like an oil and carbon. It seems that curved road still doesn't work really. Because I can't figure it out how to build a curved road. That's not really curved. Why are you doing this? See? What the bullshit is this? Oh, I really hate, hate this already. I hate this. I've seen all those pictures with nice curved roads. And so far, I can't make any of them. Okay, let's build those oil extractors. And let's go to the research. Okay, they need a crude oil and a carbon. So I should have everything except for the power right now. What about now? Now you are working, guys? Yep, 100% efficiency. Okay, take some time, but the crude oil is being delivered. And they should start working on those science packs. This really reminds me of Factorio. But so far... Let us simplify it. But from what I've seen, this is more focused to the on the logistics, as I said already, than the production on its own. Ooh, science. Oh, expensive science. Maybe later. <laughs> hmm, I would like to see how much they use and how much they produce. 15 seconds to one science pack. But it doesn't say how much it is using. Or maybe it doesn't work that way? Don't know. Alright, first research is done. That was farming. So, I will need to start delivering food to my people. So maybe build the farms close by. So the upgrades here of the habitats works. Just like in Anno, you satisfy their needs and they will upgrade. But they will upgrade automatically here, so I don't need to do anything about that, it seems. The food and water is being delivered. And another research is done. Electronics factories, home appliances, plastic factory, copper mine. Okay, I really like this so far. The only thing that I don't like are those roads. Maybe I will figure it out later, but so far, I don't like them. <laughs> but I've seen there are even the railways here. Hmm, maybe I will need more water production. Yes. Let's increase the production of the water. Let's scale everything up a little bit. But I am not producing steel. Can I produce steel? Not yet. I need to research the steel production. Yeah, that's being currently researched. Low tech industry, let's see what do we have here. Electronics, plastics and home appliances factories. Okay, but first let's go and produce steel and for that I need iron, carbon and water apparently. Okay, where's the iron? Is copper. He up here is iron. 
Why the fuck is this doing it? Why? The road is perfectly straight. I just want to continue. Okay, so curved roads are really not a thing in this game. You see? <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Okay. Screw you. I will have ugly roads only from now on. This will not be good for the speeds of the tracks. Definitely. If that thing is implemented. Okay, they didn't swarm down. So that's good. Sometimes the power pose doesn't want to connect. You see that? Why? Why don't you want you connect to that? I don't understand. What's wrong with it? The game really needs some quality of life changes, definitely. <laughs> because it has strange behavior, especially the roads. On a game that's so heavily on uh, logistics, the roads are very bad from my first few minutes experience. Very bad. <laughs> okay, it seems that I don't have enough carbon. And for that, I need more of these atmosphere processes. Okay, with only blue signs, I can research the aluminium mining. And I will need those si green signs packs. Required research, green signs. And that's where? Ah, okay, here. And for a green science, I will need some things that I don't know what they are. <laughs> but that's fine. Ah, these houses, it seems, yeah, they upgraded. So now they require home appliances. Let's see what they need for that. Home appliances, I need electronics and plastics. And for electronics, I need iron and copper, that will be. So I have copper here. Iron is up here. Alright, I unlock the green science packs and I will need more people as I'm running out of the workforce. So first, let's put down some more basic habitats. Like five. Now it's back to production. So, iron and copper for the electronics. Crude oil I have here, so... It would be the best to build it close by, I think, the plastics factories. So let's have them here. Let's have like two. I don't know how many I need. Curved roads are impossible to build. Always. It always makes something really, really weird. Hmm. I'm very disappointed in these roads. Very, very. Okay, I have my electronics here, I have my plastics on the other side, I will be manufacturing those appliances here. Let's have like two of those. That would be enough, I think. And then they will be delivered to the houses. It seems that first delivery of the plastics is incoming. Oh, that's a lot of trucks. Mega shop incorporated. <laughs> So the power is shown consumption and production? Because my buildings are not using the full power. Like from the experience from every other game, it is production and consumption, not the other way around. So that got me confused. Is that the case? No. It's the production and consumption. Then why don't I have enough power? Oh, this is not connected, for fuck's sake. Now it is working? I guess so. Okay, I just need to connect these two grids. Alright, now all the buildings should have all the power they need. And the home appliances should be delivered to my houses. Or habitats. And these crossroads start becoming to be a little bit busy. Let's see the research. What do we have here? With the blue science, what I can do? Computers, parks. Okay, and I will need to start making that green science. And for a green science, I need what? Wish I could just hover it and check what resources I need. Hmm, I don't know what those icons all means. I know only what is that blue science, and that's it. And now I just need to be guessing what is needed. 
Because I don't know what's that first, that yellow or whatever. Is there somewhere around the resources or something? Ah, it is a sand. Okay. So I need sand. That next one, I have no idea what it is. And the other, I don't know what it is. <laughs> How am I supposed to produce it if I don't know what it is? Come on. Okay, it's aluminium. Aluminium. Those toe tips are really uh, unhelpful if you can just click and I could move my mouse up and hover over that icon. That would be perfect to tell me what it requires. Just like in Crusher the Kings or Still Lives when you can hover over those things, tool tips, and it says you more about it. Okay, so that's sand, aluminium, something, I have no idea what that is, and blue signs apparently. Sand, aluminium. Okay, sand is everywhere, aluminium is up here. Okay, that one on the hills is the closest one I think. I'll be mining this one. Okay, chemicals, that's what it is. So I need sand, aluminium and chemicals. Okay, green science should be soon done. The resources are being currently delivered from the both sides. Nice. I like the logistic aspect of the game. It really reminds me of the transport tycoon. Maybe I will play that game. Again, I didn't play it for years, and it's my favorite. At least it was a long time ago. Maybe I should make a one, <laughs> at least one nostalgic video. Okay, now we are waiting just for the aluminium. That's a little bit further away. Yes, maybe I should have built some bypass. Just directly here to not clog this road too much. But for now with this low volume transportation should it should be fine. It's not that bad. So what we can research next? One way roads. Concrete roads. Roads. Concrete concrete roads. <laughs> I can't speak again. Uh, solar panels. Improved wind turbines. Let's research everything. Give me, give me all. Give it to me. How we are doing with the uh, jobs? 140, 148 population. Okay. I'm doing right. Now, these guys require park and computers. I can build you, build you a park right now. What about that? Big city park. Oh, that's really big. Okay, I didn't build my first housing in a quite all right spot. But still, I have this empty space here that I can use for growing city. But for now... For now, let's just have it like this. Better than nothing, right? And there is even a terraforming. I didn't know that I will be terraforming the planet. That's a nice surprise for me. Okay, research is already ongoing. So the green packs are being delivered. Let me see the production overview if I can see something useful here. Production, consumption, yes. Great. Full science packs. I am producing 16 using 12. So maybe I can build another one of these green science pack factories. And I unlocked uh, one-way roads. Okay. Okay, this is very useful screen. Oh, I'm producing a lot of oxygen. That's good. What about the water? Yeah, I still have some space for the expansion. So let's start working on a new city district. With a park in the middle. What about the, this big city park? Yeah, let's, let's build a city around it. I don't know what else they will require, but I can always adapt. Okay, a few more houses. I'm glad that they don't need to return back, like with the empty trucks. <laughs> so they are only delivering, so empty trucks are not coming back. Okay. 
That would be uh, much harder to work around. But maybe interesting. Okay, I'm almost at my capacity with the power. Okay, I'm going to build a few more these wind turbines. Facing ones still. And I will later I will add some solar panels when they are researched. What am I doing with the food? I didn't check that. Hmm, I can't see a food here. Ah, here, survival food, okay. 15. Okay, I have some reserves. Okay, <laughs> you left for a while. So I don't know what exactly happened. But everything seems to be alright. People are still alive. That's good. Only I'm lacking a little bit of power. Okay, I researched that upgraded wind turbines. Ah, I can build them closer to each other. Ah, I see, I see. That saves space a lot. Oh, I can build the pipes now. Oh, interesting. Do I need a storage for that? Distribution center, collection center. This building's building receives desired resources from a collection center connected to it and distributes them to the surrounding buildings. Mm hmm, okay. But what about the pipes? Oh, I need a tank first. All right. And maybe then I can distribute it uh, water and oxygen with the pipes to my homes. Hmm. But first, let's see the production. I've seen that someone was missing food. Am I producing enough? No. Okay, I need to increase the food production. So, one more farm. Let's check the research. All right, what do we have here? Border fence. Why would I want to fence? Don't know. Methane. Ah, thanks. Let's research that. Power substations. Cargo condos. I have no idea what's that. But I can't queue more than two research. I can queue this one. Hmm. Strange. Okay, whatever. So, now they require computers. So I need to start making computers. For that I think I will need microchip factories. And they require only sand. And let's see... Computer factory plastics, microchips, aluminium. Okay, plastics. Which road? This, this highway up here is for the plastics. Okay, so let's bring it down here. Let's have here some microchip factories. And on the same road, I will have these computer factories. At least one for now. Okay, I have now water tanks, crude oil tanks and oxygen tanks. So let's try building some here. Is the storage. Let's have a o big oxygen tank. Let's have it here next to a road. And a water tank. And how does exactly the pipes work? I'm not sure. I don't see any like points where I can hook the oxygen. Oh, okay, it works like it like this. All right. It connects automatically to the buildings on the road. Alright, alright. And what about the water pipes? Can I build them next to the oxygen ones? Yes, I can. Okay. So I can be delivering resources like this to my houses then. That's amazing. Love it. That should help with the traffic on the roads. Like that. And I guess now the oxygen should be delivered by the pipes. So that would mean soon I should not see any water cars or oxygen cars delivering to the houses. Only food. Uh, here is water or oxygen. That's oxygen. So you are delivering oxygen. But maybe he was on the road already for some time. No, there are more of them. Yes, there is still some oxygen being delivered to the houses. But they should be hooked up to the oxygen tanks already. Yep, and it's full. 
I don't have that much of water in my tank. Okay, so maybe increase production of the water here. But mostly only food is delivered and the home appliances. Oh, nice. Oh, you are not upgraded. Oh, you are upgrading in 12 seconds. Okay, he must have missed something. So now for the computers. This being manufactured already? Yes, indeed. And I have, I am, I have a lack of the power. Oh yes, this is nice. Look at that. Power substation supplies power to a large surrounding area. Yes, that will be very useful. Let's build some solar panels. Production overview. Let's see. Computers. I'm manufacturing 9.6 using 5.4, 5.5. So I will keep it running for a while and then I will see if I need to increase the production or now it is all right. Oh, city statistics. Nice. Population, housing, immigration rate, jobs, sand. Oh, I like graphs like this. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, I will have even the nuclear power plant. Hell yeah. Oh, my habitat's upgraded! Look at this! A uh, new houses came to the city. You need a good meal next. Home robot entertainment. But I'm not going to rush it, as I'm not fully satisfying the computer need anyways. Maybe I could upgrade the roads a little bit, at least some of them, to the higher tier. Is there a way to upgrade it? There is no upgrade tool? That's strange. How am I supposed to upgrade the road to a higher tier? Do I need to delete it and rebuild it? Hmm. Ah, here it is. Replace road. Okay. I said nothing. So I can upgrade it like this. It doesn't really work that well. I need to click multiple times sometimes. Alright, so this will be like my main highway for now. Oh, I am missing some chemicals. The production is low or it is just the logistic? No, the production is low. And my home appliances production is low too. Okay, I need to improve both. But first... Chemical plant. Okay, the production was increased. That means everything should be fine. Let's see the research. Cargo gondolas, spaceship construction, methane, and border fence. Let's go for those. Okay, slowly the computers are being distributed to my people. I really love this new tier of the houses. Oh, I can use the traffic lights here. Interesting. Not that I need them really right now, I think, but let's use them. Why not? Oh, that's a really nice city there. I would like to make curves like this, but it seems that I can't do it. <laughs> the building of the road is really janky. Maybe build another computer factory to increase production. And I need another aluminium mine. And let's see the spaceship. What I will need for repairing it. A lot of stuff. <laughs> but I can maybe start slowly doing it. Bonus when completed. Each time electronics is produced, you get one extra unit. Hmm? Can I repair it? Do I need to deliver it somehow to the ship or it is like automatic taken from my production? Hmm. Have no idea. Infraspace was renamed to Raven Space. <laughs> and you can see it from a far far away, really. Raven Space. <laughs> Ravens have finally arrived into a space. Everything's going so far good. I don't see really here any big challenge. The challenge is or the, your worst enemies yourself I think in this game because you can screw up your logistics and everything if you are really sloppy just like me but otherwise there are no enemies as far as I can tell no defense structures or anything like that 
and I still don't know how to fix the ship. This is not progressing, so I have no idea how to do it. Oh, do I need to... Maybe now I understand. Do I need to manufacture some spaceship module? I don't know how. I have no idea how that works. But I guess I will unlock it later. I'm not that far into a game. Probably. I think that will be the case. It's continuing the research then. Alright, now I research the spaceship construction facility, so this is what I need to repair the ship. Ooh, and it is a massive. And I don't even have enough concrete to build it. Okay, maybe I should increase the production of the concrete. Okay, now I have enough resources, so let's build this spaceship construction facility. Somewhere in the middle. Maybe here. Finally, the repair work on Antares can begin. The passengers are thrilled to see your progress. Hoo -hoo. Okay, it has a road from the sides. Okay. So let me connect it to, it to the grid. And now to the road. Maybe I should have stockpiled those resources first. Can I pause this? Hmm, I don't think so. Uh, I can do this, yes, lower the production to like 5% and now I'm going to increase the aluminium and electronics production. Okay, okay, the building is working at 5% but at least it is working. That's the most important, so this will take some time with this rate. But at least I am not lacking any production. Let's see if I can increase it. No. If I bring it to 6%, I'm already lacking. Or was it 7? Was it 7? Yeah. Okay, let's keep it at 6%. I have time. I'm kind of patient. And in the meantime, I will be doing more research. The next one for the research is methane power plant. I already can drill for the methane, I think. At least, yes, here, methane drill. I don't know where it is. I will need to find it first, but I can have a methane power plant. And this is lacking the electronics now. Hmm. But I am producing enough. Electronics, yes. So I just must have disrupt the you know, logistics for a second when I built this building and it was set up to 100%. So most of the electronics went there. Yes, it seems. Okay, but I see some cars moving all over the place. Yeah, it will be delivered soon. Yeah, they are already working. Good. Hmm, I don't see any methane deposit so far. I wish it was showing me the deposits when I select the building for the extraction. Ah, here is methane. Okay, that's one. Ah, oh, here is another one. Okay, now it is much easier when I know what I'm looking for. Because I thought these are just the ores. Because it looks like, he, like the aluminium. Alright, so down there is plenty of methane. Okay, and officially I am um, mining the methane or drilling. Okay, so when the methane power plant is researched, I can build one. And I will have some methane. Let's build like two drills. Because I can. Oh, I am suddenly losing oxygen. But my production is enough, so... What's going on? I even have it hooked up to the pipes. Let's build then more oxygen production. Maybe I have somewhere else the oxygen production that it is not hooked up together. But I don't think so. Ah, yeah, I have this atmospheric processor here. Next to my steel mill. But that's it. You know what? Let's hook it up to the rest of the system. Now that should solve the problem. Okie dokie. Yeah, the logistics. What about this? It is being delivered. Oh, I have a meter in PowerPoint now. Okay, let's let's build one. 
right here. And I'm producing power from methane. Let's see if I am producing enough. Yes, it is con consuming 10. And making an 350 megawatts. That's very good. Okay, let's see the spaceship. The bridge, it's fixed. Not yet. I don't know, I finished these resources at least once. But it still says it's not done. I have no idea how this works exa exactly. Let's see. Okay. i done everything as it should be. Maybe now it is only delivering it. I think I'll see in a couple of minutes. Or maybe seconds. Hmm. It is still not repaired. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Storage is full. Hmm. Don't know. Maybe it's a problem that I lower it to like 5% because of my lack of production. I have no idea. I'll leave it as it is for now. Let's see. What am I researching next? Groundwater water extraction. Nice. Oh, I will have a... I will need an access to a yellow science soon. Okay, it was the problem of the efficiency. So now that cube is done and it will be delivered to the ship. Oh, it is already repaired. Perfect. What can I do next? I don't have resources for that. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. Oh, maybe I can do this. Storage deck. Yeah, and I should be able to do this one too. Let's go with the storage deck now. But again, I will lower the efficiency until they deliver all the resources. And then I will increase the efficiency when all this will be delivered. Okie dokie. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to be sending all that concrete through my city, as you can see. We have added a bit of a traffic jams here a little bit maybe I'll get rid of that what it is traffic lights how can I get rid of it like this but that will probably won't help <laughs> look at all of these trucks Let's upgrade the road. Maybe that will help with it a little bit. And then I will be getting rid of these houses and leaving only this one. Or those here in my proper city. Now, let's upgrade the road. If I can click on the road, of course. Okay, so all those deliveries were just destroyed, it seems. Ah, they are back delivering. Okay, now these houses need to go. They are not welcome here. <laughs> I will rebuild them here. Like that. And maybe those food factories, either I should them build them closer to a city, or I should make a bypass road. So they don't need to go on this highway. Let's try doing that one-way road from here somewhere and they will go like this and down here to this road maybe that will help with it yep some of the trucks are already using it because there is a lot of trucks with food that's blocking this highway okay i think it's moving a little bit better Okay, even the traffic flow is a little bit better because I was going down to 82, 80%, something like that. Now we are back at 96, 97. And this will resolve soon as they get all their food. It will not be needed this big amount of trucks. So that will get resolved in time, I guess. And there still will be some trucks going on this highway and to this city, but it will not be the biggest amount. Maybe I should move these farms on this road here. You know what? Let's put down one of these. 
Oh, I don't even need to. The power substations I meant. Yes. There should be enough power. Let's have one here. Okay, and now... Let's add more of those farms here. So they be using all, all of them that bypass road. Hmm, blue ones are computers. Now they are blocking the highway a little bit. Mm, it seems that this road needs some upgrading, I think. Hmm, I think I need only one-way road here. Oh, park. It's transporting the park to them. <laughs> That's silly. Okay. But I still don't need this road to be both ways. So let's make it one way only. Oh, I unlocked the highways. Nice. 180 tiles a minute. That's a double the speed from the normal roads. And I changed this to one way only, all around here. These are still both ways. But here in the back, this is only one way again, for the park purposes. And the goods are flowing a little bit better now. How's the concrete deliveries? Uh, almost there. Okay, so since I have a high waves, maybe I should upgrade this long road to the highway. Just for the fun, because I can. And this part here doesn't even need to be both ways. So let's upgrade this all the way here. And this will be the regular one, two-way highway. My way on the highway, like that. That should speed up the delivery of the plastics. As you can see, they are really flying on the road right now. Especially when you compare it to the road beneath them. This is the normal speed. Oh, I can change the settings of the world on the fly. Interesting. Oh, cars make round trips. Select this if you are looking for a challenge. Okay, that's for another time. So that's the thing that I mentioned before, that the cars are not returning back. So they are just delivering. Okay, so there is an option for that. Okay, okay. Interesting. Oh, I researched my first trains. Okay, so I will be able to start using the mini train station. Hmm. Okay, so I can use... I think I can use this for uh, longer distances or for transferring a large amount of resources. Don't know. I will try it on something. Don't know exactly on what. But this is almost finished. I just need to deliver a little bit more steel. And currently, I don't really see a reason to expand my population much. I don't see the need. I have only 400 jobs. I have almost 800 people. The demand for them are not that high. Okay, what I will be doing next? I think this one, thermal systems, because I am producing everything of this. Okay, let's see what these guys need. Home appliances. Oh, wrong button. Home appliances. Yeah, maybe I can increase the production a little bit. And maybe I should start like collecting the resources here. Let me show what it was. This collection center, like all the resources that my houses need, like food, appliances and computers right now. To have them off-site off of this city, somewhere maybe here. And then I have distribution center. But distribution center can distribute only one thing. Okay, that means I would need a lot of them. But I think that will be a little bit more efficient way to do things. And to get that resources here, the distribution, not the, to the collection center, maybe I can try using trains maybe i can build my first small train or short distance train from the computer manufacturing and try storing that you know what let's go let's do it i'll build it on the on oh, not like this i wanted it other way around 
I really hated that when I already turned it, it is not snapping to the road anymore. For some reason. Okay, let's have it... I don't know. You know what? Let's go a further away. Let's build it like this. And here I will need... Uh, so this is collection center that will be for the computers. Okay. And I... It seems that I can't directly connect the railroad to this. Okay. Where's the road connection on this? Or there is a none? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know exactly how this works. Okay, so the road is here from this side. Okay. So let's build it like this. Hmm. Can't I select what they should be transferring? It seems that I cannot. Ah, okay. I think I know how to do it now. Alright, I have my first train line. But apparently it is... I can't set what they should be delivering because I would like to filter it, but... I think that's not possible. So I don't know how this will work. But it seems it will not. Because these guys will not be delivering those computers here to the train station hmm hmm it doesn't work so i'm not sure how to do it i even tried with the collection center and the distribution but they are not sending it to the train station so i think i can't use it like this or maybe i'm doing something wrong i'm not sure but i would really like to do this so I can send it more effectively. Alright, so this doesn't work. So let's stop storing it here. Okay, so this my setup is totally worthless. It seems I can't use it this way. Which is really lame, I think. Because I would really want to build my stockpile of these resources here. And then delivering them from here to my city. No, but the game wants to automate it and... Literally just prohibits me from doing so. So this is very simplest thing. I was uh, hoping for a little bit more deep game here, but apparently not. And I can't select specific cargo to be transported either, it seems. At least I can't find any information on it. Everyone just says that use it like a road. And if it... And if your tracks are ignoring it, then it is not the shortest route. But there is no other way how to make the train transfer what you want. And that's stupid. <laughs> the game focused on logistics and fails miserably in tra on trains. If I'm mistaken, please let me know in the comments, but it doesn't work. Yeah, they are transferring copper ore and iron ore. I don't want that. I didn't build it for that. Okay, let's try setting up the rest. Maybe they will pick it up later. But I kinda doubt it. That it will be the case. Okay, and now I want a distribution center closer to the city. Okay, it seems that they are completely ignoring my train station. Again. And all of my house is devolved. Perfect. <laughs> That's what you get for experimenting. Downgraded houses. So there's only way it is to disconnect it from the road. Which is a stupid. So in short, I have no control over the transportation of the resources in Sims. Everything is just automatic. I hate it. It could be so awesome if I can do it my way. Manually. But no. Alright, I tried it differently to go directly to this distribution center. So let's see. Nope, they're still ignoring it. Okay, but maybe I can use it to deliver the plastics, but I think they will be ignoring that too, because there is a highway built. Hmm, but maybe for the aluminium. Because aluminium is quite far away. Because the aluminium is quite far away. Let's build a train station up here. Let's try that. 
Okay, let's try the aluminium delivering. And have like two trains here. Let's see. Okay, they will be using it, I think. Yep, all of them are getting into the train station. Good. And why is this red? What's going on? Oh, I cannot use the lines like this. Interesting, I didn't know about that. Yeah, the power lines are in a way. So let's redo that. Okay, let's see. 34 aluminium is being delivered. Can I even get rid of the road now? It seems that I can. While it is connected to the train, it is alright. Okay. So I know how I will be transporting large amount of resources from the, you know, big distances. Okie dokie. Oh, I'm not researching anything. And I should be able now to make yellow science packs. Yes, of course, I'm not producing all the resources that I will need. But I have an option to start making yellow science packs. And I will need motors and that I don't know what it is. Maybe fertilizer or something like that. This is a copper mill. So I will be refining the copper. This is a stem cell lab. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. Ah, here, vegetable farm it is producing, so maybe it's just like a fertilizer or some like byproduct from the farming. Oh, this is fertilizer, this green icon, so this is something else. Okay, so for the good meals, I will need vegetables and meat. Oh, that will be a little bit more complicated. So far so good, I have plenty of people, I'm still learning the game, but it is very interesting. I like it so far. Okay, let's see my spaceship. I already fixed two thingies here. Okay, what else can we do? This, methane, chemicals, crude oil and blue science pack. Let's try that. Let's ruin our economy for a while. I'll leave it on 100%, let's see how how that will go. Oh, wait a second, I should have built the crude oil pipe directly. That will be the fastest, right? Like this. Disconnected now? Yes, it is. So the crude oil and methane was delivered instantly now. Chemicals and science packs. That should be easy. Okay, I have chemicals and sulfur here in this pot. I will need that to make fertilizer. Fertilizer I will need for the vegetable farm. And I will need oxygen, water and fertilizer. I will be making that here on spot. Then I need a meat lab that requires water and stem cells. Stem cells were under industry, right? Yes, here. And for that I need again oxygen and chemicals. So again, I will be making that here. And then last step is vegetables, meat, and I will make from that good meals. And I don't know what that is, some byproduct. And from here, then I will probably build a train and or a, a long highway. And I will be transferring it here somewhere. Okay. So let's start working on that. So first things first. Fertilizer factory. Alright, so I'm producing fertilizer, vegetables, stem cells, and now I need meat labs. And one is producing two steam cells. Or stem cells, not steam. <laughs> stem cells. So that's two, four, six, eight. And I need two for the meat lab. So that means I can have four of these. Yeah. Four meat lamps. They will need more water. Each needs three water. So that's three, six, nine, twelve more water. So I need three more of these. Okay, they are producing now. Ah, it is an organic waste. I even forget for what I needed it. Ah, here, methane fermentation plant, I've seen it. So I can transfer that or 
so I can refine that into a methane. Okay, nice. Now, the last step, meal factories. Let's see how much I'm producing of the vegetables and meat. That's 47 and 31, and this requires 3 and 3. So I can build a lot of them, but I don't need a lot of them. Let's build like two for the start. And I'm out of power. And I'm not out of power. <laughs> okay, and now the quickest way should be to transfer all this food by the train, I think. And anyways, I want to transfer it by a train. Maybe I can even use the same lane. But there are already four trains on them. You know what? Let's uh, delete this first train line. It's not even doing anything. And let's hook up the food into the railway system. Let's go. Okay, I set it up. Let's see if some of the food will be delivered here. I mean the good meals. Okay, that train was empty. This train is empty again. Yes, they are using it, so the food is being delivered here already, so they will be taking it there. Good, good. 22 good meals. 24. Okay, so it is being transferred. And I have this distribution center set up here, so they will be delivering it soon. Oh, they are already getting some good meals by the trucks. But that will end soon, I guess. All right, it's working. Now I need to do the same with the home robots and then entertainment will be something like a parks, I get, I guess. To the robots, how do I get to the robots? Self-cleaning some parts? No. Because I think I didn't research that yet. Or did I? Ah, here it is. Home robot factory. Okay, I will need to do more research. Because there are a couple of things that I don't even recognize. So, show me the science. Home robots. Ah, it is up the way here. Okay. So, there is still plenty of research options for me that I can do with just the green science. And then I will need to start making the yellow one. But so far, so good. A little bit disappointed with the railways, railway system, but... It works to some degree like this. I just don't like it that I can't manually, you know, override the automatization from the game. I can if I delete the roads. I can that way. Just the same that I've done with the aluminium or up here. But overall, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> this is a terrible mess, but for my first city, I'm proud of it. And it looks ugly, I know. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, push that like button and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day, bye bye.